Hi, welcome to the Reeves Museum. My name is Cami Stanley, and I am a tour guide and the social media coordinator here at Reeves. Have you ever wondered what it might have been like to live in the Reeves home at the turn of the century? What do you think about? The clothes you might have worn, the food you might have eaten? What about having servants? Someone to help you dress, cook the meals, clean the house? Today, with the help of the Reeves Museum mascot, Jeeves, we are going to look at what some of the duties of a servant might have looked like when the Reeves family lived in the home. But first, I would like to take a minute to thank our mascot, Jeeves, for taking time out of his busy schedule tweeting to help us with this video. Although anyone who knows Jeeves knows he would never pass up an opportunity to be in the spotlight. Now there were different types of servants, cooks, the maids who cleaned, the ladies maid to help with the dressing and the sewing. Well, of course, Jeeves had to demonstrate them all. A typical day for a servant would start before breakfast. They would arrive around sunup and sift through the ashes in the gas stove in the kitchen, sweeping out the dust and lighting the fires. Now the servants who worked at other houses also had to sift through fireplaces, but the Reeves fireplaces were connected through the chimneys to a coal furnace in the basement, so this was one less job that needed done every day. Meals would need prepared and the table would need set. Now Mr. and Mrs. Reeves had both the morning room, which was just for the family, and the formal dining room in which to take their meals. Now setting the table was a task in itself. When setting the table, the fork is always on the left, beginning with the dinner fork. The knife should be on the right, closest to the table with the blade facing in and the spoon beside it. The napkin should be to the right, but never underneath the forks and all of these should be an inch from the edge of the table. Grocery shopping was the responsibility of the servants. A popular store in Dover was Rausch's on 3rd Street. The servants would also keep the family's clothes in order. Doing laundry was a time-consuming task, and I'm sure it was helpful to have Mr. Reeves' self-draining laundry tubs. But the time spent scrubbing is hard for us to imagine today. But the clothes would then have to line dry, if you needed to iron, the iron was heated up on the stove top. It would cool while it was being used, so the person ironing would have to stand next to the hot stove to keep reheating the iron. Dusting would take place daily throughout the home. Special care would be taken in the drawing room. Now this comfortable room drew the family together and saw many hours of conversation, games, and music. The Regina music box was said to be a favorite of Mrs. Reeves, and the daughters were all able to play on the Hazelton Brothers piano. The beautiful hardwood floors were swept daily, then gone over with a flannel rag to pick up the excess dust. The carpet would be swept with a bissel, but I'm sure an electric vacuum was purchased as soon as they were invented. But the smaller carpets would be taken outdoors and beaten with a carpet beater. As the Reeves daughters grew and married, their bedrooms were used as guest rooms for company, so these rooms would have also been maintained. The girls' sitting room was for the girls only. The only man in this room would have been Mr. Reeves. It was said that he would come look out the window to see how things were going at the mill. And it looks like Jeeves feels this is still an important room to keep an eye on. This room also shows the love of music by the family. The Edison player would play three to four minutes of continuous music. It appears the servants working at the Reeves home were treated very well. The room seems comfortable with modern amenities. At a time when most people were still going outside to use the bathroom or using a chamber pot, the servants had their own full indoor bathroom. The back stairs would be used on a regular basis. The main stairs would be used only when escorting guests or when cleaning them. There would have been a head housekeeper. Now she would have worked closely with Mrs. Reeves and would oversee the other servants. There was, at one time, four servant girls living in the home. Other help would come and go depending on the events of the day. Obviously, on a day when a party or event was planned, 
extra help would be needed. When these events were held, the ballroom would receive special attention. There is no dumbwaiter in the home, so all food and drinks had to be carried from the kitchen up two flights of stairs to the ballroom. An honest day's work for an honest day's wage. The servants at the Reeves home may have put in long, hard days, but they were treated respectfully and fairly. Although, if given the choice, I think Jeeves would prefer to have people waiting on him.